Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In this episode, let's discover the story of a courageous Christian and pastor who stood against the evils of Hitler's Nazi Germany. When many others around him were bowing down to Hitler, this man was preaching the gospel and working as a secret double agent to free the persecuted Jews in Germany from the terrors of the Nazi regime. This man would eventually be captured and killed for his Christian faith. Let's explore one of the true heroes of the faith in the 20th century, the German pastor Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Bonhoeffer was born in Germany in 1906 to a fairly wealthy family. Now they desired that he become a musical protege, but as many faithful men had done before him, Bonhoeffer entered the ministry much to the frustration of those closest to him who thought he was wasting his life. He became a pastor at a young age and quickly became a prominent theologian in Germany which was still reeling from World War I. Not long after Bonhoeffer became a pastor, Adolf Hitler took over absolute power in Germany. Unlike many around him in Europe, Bonhoeffer accurately discerned Hitler's truly evil intentions as a murderous tyrant who deceived millions into thinking he was a good man. In 1937, Bonhoeffer wrote one of the most influential books on 20th century Christianity, The Cost of Discipleship. In it, he said this, Cheap grace is preaching forgiveness without requiring repentance, baptism without church discipline, communion without confession. Cheap grace is grace without discipleship, grace without the cross, grace without Jesus Christ living and incarnate. Well, that grace-driven gospel was also the fuel for Bonhoeffer to vehemently oppose Hitler and eventually join a secret resistance movement. He joined the Nazi secret police as a double agent, secretly assisting Jews to freedom. He also secretly preached the one true and living God in opposition to Hitler's own godlike elevation of his cult. Eventually, word reached his higher-ups in the Nazi party that Bonhoeffer might be colluding with the enemy. In the spring of 1943, Bonhoeffer was taken captive by Nazi officers and thrown in prison. He refused to be brought down, though. Like Paul before him, he spent his days praying incessantly and writing down a series of letters encouraging believers, letters which would be published after his death. Bonhoeffer held on to the truth of the gospel indeed to his death. The cost of discipleship was deep for this great man, but the cost was worth it. He entered the presence of the Lord on April 9, 1945, hanged at the gallows at the German death camp of Flossenburg with several other protesters. Within a month, Hitler would commit suicide and the Germans would surrender to the Allies. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.